Now, meanwhile, the Ford government's budget, it's drawing plenty of pushback, mainly on the province's plan to address affordability and housing. Jason Gaidola joining us live in studio tonight with more on the local reaction. Good evening, Jason. Yeah, good evening, Matt. One bu budget item that is drawing attention is the housing file, which the Ford government says it's committing nearly $2 billion to housing and water infrastructure. Big city mayors and the association representing Ontario municipalities say it isn't enough to cover the provincial downloaded costs on housing that cities endure. Nearly $2 billion in additional infrastructure funding is what the Ford government is handing out to cities in this year's budget. It is a significant uh, step forward in providing more funding with municipalities on a cost share basis to move to get even more housing built and to hit those targets. The Building Faster Fund is working. Approximately a billion dollars will go directly towards municipal housing projects, while the remaining will cover water infrastructure. Uh, we are not seeing the funding uh, needed for affordable and non-market housing. We know uh, that Ontario is at risk of losing the $357 million, uh, bill, million dollars in federal funding. The province says housing starts are projected to rise over the next several years. However, the numbers are still far below what's needed to meet their target of 1.5 million homes by 2030. The Association of Municipalities say this year's tabled funding for housing falls short for cities to offset the loss of development fees. As Mayor Horvath mentioned uh, last week when she received it, it's about less than a third of what we need. Give you an idea, over the next 10 years, municipalities are estimated spending $250 billion. And uh, of that, $100 billion is growth related. The Tories say they'll also empower cities to impose taxes on vacant homes for additional revenue. There are calls for more money on matters like affordability and homelessness. So they do need some new level of agreement with the Ford government. And yet today we saw a paltry, I think it was $120 million to address homelessness across the province. That's not going to go very far to address a crisis that we know needs serious addressing right now. A new funding model the Association of Municipalities are calling for to avoid raising levies like property taxes. It, it is a real difficulty, you know, with the uh, both federal and provincial governments trying to work together. And what's one, one of the reasons we're advocating for a review of municipal financing because property taxes should not be carrying health care and social services. And the Association of Municipalities of Ontario says since 2004, they've had a memorandum of understanding with the province to meet monthly to discuss new potential legislation. An agreement AMO says is slated for renewal this year. 